there's a way that you can get the best of both worlds of Hyperland and Neri at the same time. Now, there is a plugin in order to do that, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use this plugin later on and whatnot. But before that, what we need to understand is a little concept called alloying. Now, if you're familiar with chemistry and chemical concepts, alloying is going to be a familiar concept to you. Basically, you can think of alloying this way, right? It's taking one substance and then taking another substance and then combining the two to get a whole which is greater than the sum of its parts, right? So let's say this is substance A and then this is substance B. And together, substance A and substance B create substance AB, which ends up being greater than the sum of its parts, okay? Now, you can think of it this way. Think of an alloy like stainless steel. So it's corrosion resistant, stainless steel doesn't scratch, and it's pretty light, along with all the other properties that stainless steel has. Now, it most likely includes iron, then carbon, and a bunch of other materials. Now, unless you combined those materials in that specific ratio, let's say, unless you did that, you wouldn't be able to obtain stainless steel. Okay, now same thing goes with combining Hyperland and Neri. You can, if you, okay, you've probably seen the yin and yang symbol before, right? So this is pretty sure this is how it looks. So you have something like this. Okay, so you have the yin and the yang. One is the light side, and the other is the dark side. So what we're doing here is basically combining Neri, which we can just say is the light, and then Hyperlan, which is the dark, in order to obtain a whole which is greater than the sum of the two combined. Okay, now, it might be a little bit hard to understand with the way that I'm explain explaining it, but regardless, we're using alloying as a concept to blend Neri and Hyperlan features together to get a... Wayland Compositor experience, that's better than pretty much 99.99% of other Wayland Compositors out there. Now, how exactly do we do that? It's through a plugin called Hyperscrolling. Now, if you actually want to install this plugin and check it out for yourself, it's going to be in HyperPM's GitHub repo. So, github.com, HyperPM. Okay, or we can just look for Hyperland Plugin Manager. So we look this up, and as you can see, it's the first link, hyperwm slash hyperland plugins. So you click on this link, and then what you do is you click on code and then clone this, because what we'll have to do eventually, or you know what, you don't have to clone it. All we have to do is just install these plugins using hyperpm update, okay, and then add this repository, and then enable the desired plugin with hyperpm enable. It's going to be hyper scrolling over here. Great. Now, let's do that. So, hyper pm update in order to update the package manager. Oh, seems like some errors have happened. Now, how do we fix these? We need to make sure that these dependencies are installed so that hyper pm actually works. So, we just have to type in i, which is shorthand or an alias for yay s. So, yay s cmake, mason, cpio, pkg config, git, g, and gcc. Now it should install all of these. Once all of these dependencies are installed, actually, let me add in the dash dash needed flag in Arch Linux, which basically installs only the packages which are not already installed. So once we install this, we should or we should be able to get HyperPM working properly. Okay, now if we type HyperPM update, as you can see, it's updating all of these repos. Now, after that, we're going to have to add in this specific repository. There are multiple different repositories we can actually add to get different Hyperland plugins, but these are the official ones. Now, they give out a warning in the wiki stating that any plugins, apart from the official ones, are not going to have official support, along with guaranteed safety, right? Because these are official, you can pretty much tell that they're safe. But for other plugins, you can't quite say the same. Right. Now that's for adding the repository and then enabling it, it is pretty simple. So let's just wait for this to finish. Okay, it is finally done. Now we just have to add in this repository, which should already be added. However, let's just type that in again. Yep, it says repository already installed. 
So all we have to do is just hyper PM enable hyper scrolling. Now I've already enabled it before. So it's most likely going to fail over here, but you most likely haven't enabled it. Okay, got it. So just make sure to enable. And once that's done, you should be able to read the readme in hyper scrollings folder. So you click on the folder and you see the readme over here. Okay. Now this adds a scrolling layout to hyperline, which is basically what Niri uses. Now, if we open the config, so config hyper modules, what's that called? Plugins.conf. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what this modules folder is about, I cover it in more detail in a section called modularity in the first link in the description. So if you want to know what it is, you can just go ahead and check that out. Anyway, let's click over here and here we have hyper scrolling. So the plugin is already enabled, right? So full screen on one column is set to true, which basically means if there's only one window, what's going to happen is that that window will be tiled just as you see over here. Now the layout isn't actually set properly, which means that you're not going to see any changes, but in order to make sure that the layout is actually seen, all we have to do is just set general layout to scrolling in order to use the layout. So let's open config hyper modules layout.conf here okay never mind it's probably in decorations so decorations dot okay decoration.conf here you see the layout right so under the general key we have master okay so what we have to do is replace master for scrolling and once we do that as you can see over here we have entered the scrolling layout and i can switch through all of my windows using the alt key which is actually my mod key i've configured it to be the mod key along with my arrow keys so i can add in how many other windows i want on just one particular workspace and it's pretty much going to behave the exact same as it does in neri now let's say i wanted to resize the windows i do something like this and then ta-da if i had to flick between the two of the windows all i'd have to do is just hover on the window on which basically I want my cursor to be and the window that I want to interact with. And it's going to do that for me. There's of course a setting that you can change your follow focus. If you set that to false, right? What's going to happen is you're most likely going to have to click. Now it's either follow focus or another option over here, but most likely it's follow focus, right? Apart from that, we can use hyper CTL in order to control the rest of the layout messages. If you want to know how to use hyper CTL to control this stuff. I've made a video on it in the past. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a video on it in the future. So you can just stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you want to see that video. But anyway, yeah, follow focus is make sure is going to make sure that the window changing behavior is only activated when you actually click on the window. But if, apart from that, all you have to really do is make sure you're using the arrow keys to navigate and that's it. That is how you can combine the best of Hyperland and Niri in order to get the best of both worlds. Yin and Yang, right? Alloy. If you want to know how to make a setup that has a custom theme switcher like this one, fully furnished with 10 or more themes over here, right? If you want to know how to make something like this, go ahead, click the first link in the description. I show you exactly how to do this. Start to finish. You don't need to have any experience whatsoever. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner who just switched to Linux and Hyperland yesterday, or you're a seasoned veteran who knows literally more about Hyperland than 99.99% of other people, it doesn't matter because I teach you exactly how to make setups like these without you needing any experience whatsoever. So if you want to know how to make something like this whilst saving a bunch of time as well, go ahead, click the first link in the description. And that's that. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising.